try to posture. See, I'm losing the head. Why am I losing the head? Look at, he's able to push. So instead of moving it across, where he still can like fight you, instead, move it back over here, now posture. See how hard, I pull the guy's head down, I lock, reverse triangle, I shoot a triangle, boom. And the guy's here, so I swing the arm and I put it back over here. Then I grab and I put my hand on the knuckles here. So this one pulls and this one pushes, like that. Especially, like right here, it's kind of like an arm bar, huh? Oh, yeah. So you have to bend it. So when you bend it, try to pull your arm out. Then it's gonna give me this. Then I can go for the Kimura. And I can lock here. And then this is killer. He's done when you get a Kimura in the triangle. I just there need to freshen up. Okay. Yeah, let me, I'd let love me know to. Like I'd like to. Do. Ahead of time. We'll go. <clears throat> Hold on. Good night, guys. Good night. Teach me grappling here. Brian Peterson, today we're gonna to go over the triangle or a position in the triangle. Is that what you wanted to go over, Brian? Yes. Okay. I wanted to go over a triangle. Right, pass the camera over to Anthony. Okay. Thanks, okay. Ant. Make it quick for Anthony. He's gotta go home. He's gotta to work tomorrow morning. All right, guys, we gotta do this one quick. Teach me grappling. Brian Peterson here. I've got Jonathan Solar, and we're gonna show you guys a triangle. I'm gonna talk about some details that I prefer. I'm getting older, guys. My knees don't hold up so good. I hate the triangle. I love the triangle. I do the triangle all the time, but I don't always finish with the triangle, and I look for other options, and I'm gonna show you what I like to do. Come on over here. Okay, so this is fine right here. Okay, so watch this. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, guys, you're in the guard, and this is great that I have John as my partner, because John's kind of like a bigger, huskier, bulkier guy. I don't know about husky, but he's got some big old muscles. And so when you go with guys that are bigger than you and they're, they got big necks and big shoulders and big arms, it can be real hard to close the deal on the triangle. And my legs, like I used to be more of a triangle guy when I was 135 pounds, but now that I'm like more like 160, I, the triangle, I've got these big calves. If you guys haven't seen, I have giant calves. It becomes a little harder for me to, to finish triangles and I prefer like other moves. So watch what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's say I'm doing a, a very basic move right here. Let's say the guy's trying to put his elbows on the inside. I'll push his hand inside and slap him and lock a triangle position. So once I lock a triangle, his hand right now is stuck, so let's assume he takes it out. Go ahead. So now we get, we've got into a triangle. I just did a simple setup. So now I'm in the triangle. Normally what you're gonna see is you're gonna see people talk about getting the arm across, you know, trying to grab your shin bone, grab the head, push off the hip, adjust. Keep your balance, John, keep your balance, keep your balance. There we go. And then I'll lock the triangle and finish. So guys, that's great and all, but let me tell you what really happens a lot. Okay, actually, John, you go ahead and get me in a triangle. So here's what happens. So some of you guys, it's bound to have some of you guys out there that are get, having this problem. You're going for the triangle by moving the arm across. And then whether he grabs, let's say he grabs my head and pulls my head down. Look at this hand, guys. This hand goes to the inside and I push his arm off. Now he's trying to close the deal on the triangle. Maybe this hand goes here and he drives forward and stacks you and puts pressure. All of this becomes a problem, okay? The guy might put his knee right in your hip. It's really hard to finish the triangle. This is a good triangle defense. As I'm here, I'm stacking him. I can pull my arm out and then pass the guard. That's a problem. You know what the other problem I have with the really big guys? is I get here, and then when I move the arm across, they fight the hand off the head now. Go ahead, he pulls the head, two hands, or he's trying to finish, lock the triangle. And then as he's trying to do it, they fight the hands off the head, and then now they use this hand, the big strong guys, they push, and they get up like this, okay? Once they do that, you start to feel like you're gonna lose your triangle completely, if the guy's really strong. So he has a good lock with his legs, he's trying to pull me in, but the big guy goes like this. And then they might even start standing up 
and throwing that leg to the side. So, go ahead, John. Here, let's switch roles again. So guys, look, because I have this happen to me, and I'm, I'm again, my neck, guys, is, I'm getting older. I just turned 41. My neck is very, has limited movement. From all the years, I have 25 plus years of grappling, and my neck is like, almost like fused. It doesn't move the same. So I get a triangle, boom. Once I'm here, you see where his hand is? He starts to push against my body and he postures and leans back. And this is hard, guys. Look, I can't get his head and I can't move big, strong John. I can't move his arm. So guys, what I do is I don't move his arm across. I actually stick it back in the armpit. So when he's here, I take my hand and I swim through here. And then sometimes he's strong right here, but I'm gonna break and then swim it into my armpit here. I want it trapped so that now when he tries to create posture, it's really tough on John. I want you guys to get here and trap it in the armpit. You can grab onto your knee or you can hold the head, all these variations. But with this over here, try to posture, 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 posture. Watch me, I'll just swim, pull the guy's head down and control him. Now watch what happens the second I move his arm across. He's trying to posture, I go like this to go for the triangle and then John continue, lean back. You gotta get the best angles, Anthony. There you go. And then now it's really tough again, okay? So I wanna swim and put it here. So try to keep posture now. Right yeah, it's tough. And then I can pull his head down. And guys, I can try to make a better lock. Once I make a better lock, I might move it back. But oftentimes what I try to do instead is I like to go for the Kimura or I go for the reverse triangle. So first one I'll show you is the reverse. I actually already have a video on this. I grab this foot and I bring it this way and I lock the triangle like that. I'm sorry, John. And now it's real tight. And if he tries to move here, I try to move, it's easy for me. I go around my knee and I control his head and I squeeze like that. If I can't finish it, I like to attack here and pull the arm until I can either get to the wrist and lock a Kimura or right here, I'll just switch to the omoplata. I also go to the omoplata. Like this morning I was training, I had a big strong black belt. He's leaning back and he's posturing and he's trying to lift me up. So I just switched off and went for the omoplata. Okay. And then what happened was the guy actually hit like a roll and I kept the arm so tight that I actually just arm barred like this. Okay. I was able to squeeze my knees against him and finish the arm bar like this. Okay. Even though I had a non-traditional you know, no legs over here. I was able to finish it off of his roll. So anyway, so the tip is this guys, put the guy's arm back into your armpit or if it's there, leave it there. Okay, take another look at this guys. Look, I have the guy in the guard. Okay, I'm gonna do a triangle setup. Maybe I'm, I'm trying to hip bump. The guy pulls his, his hand. Boom, hit the triangle, come on back. He's trying to posture. See, I'm losing the head. Why am I losing the head? Look at, he's able to push. So instead of moving it across, where he still can like fight you, instead, move it back over here, now posture. See how hard, I pull the guy's head down, I lock, reverse triangle, or maybe I'll even go back to the regular triangle, get a better lock, then I can go hips up and move it across if I want to, or sometimes guys, you'll just finish right here. If you guys get a good enough lock, it's tight. Go ahead, try to move. Yeah, right there. Or switch back and lock the reverse, which you can, guys can see. When his arm's over here, I like it a lot better. The lock is on the next side. It's kind of like the Darce version. Like the Anaconda is like the regular triangle and the reverse triangle is like the Darce. So the lock is on the side of the neck instead of the side of the arm, okay? So if you're little and you have a lot of guys posture out of your triangles, what are you gonna do? He's pushing on me, he's trying to posture, move his arm into the armpit, he tries to posture. Even if you feel like you're losing your lock, you always have the omoplata to come up and then finish right there. Okay, and then you guys can move your hip and get to your finish here. Okay, nothing wrong with that. And then don't forget the Kimura as well. So when it's trapped over on this side, you can kind of, I like to grip his, uh, his elbow and I put the knuckles on my hand like this. I'll show you, it's kind of like a karate kind of like grip. Watch this. I shoot a triangle, boom. And the guy's here, so I swing the arm and I put it back over here. 
Then I grab and I put my hand on the knuckles here. So this one pulls and this one pushes like that. Especially like right here, it's kind of like an arm bar, huh? Oh, yeah. So you have to bend it. So when you bend it, try to pull your arm out. Then it's gonna give me this. Then I can go for the Kimura. And I can lock here. And then this is killer. He's done when you get a Kimura in the triangle. Okay, it's really hard to escape it. Okay, so get this over here. You can push and pull and turn it like this to cause a lot of pain right there. If he keeps his elbow in like that, like keep your elbow in and he's not yeah. allowing it. You guys can go knuckles in the neck, pull down, get a choke. He might fight with his right hand now. With your right hand, yeah, now that I'm here, I can move it across and then go for the regular finish. But if you ever feel like he's posturing, what are you gonna do? He's gonna get out. So I swim, put it back over there and the guy's not getting out. And then you always have the omoplata. Okay. You having fun yet, John? Oh my God, the other version is a crank. <laughs> hey, guys, you didn't choke me. You neck crank me. How many times have you guys heard that? If you had a dollar for every time you heard some guy in your practice, in your class, say, you didn't actually choke me, you cranked me. Guys, I don't care. We're just trying to tap each other. Um, I want to take care of my partners. I yeah, want yeah. him healthy. Thank you. I love you, buddy. I Thank love you. you. But at the same time, it's all about the tap. That's what it's all about. Well, I don't like to soften my jujitsu so much that I'm only trying to get them in arm bars and clean chokes. Guys, neck cranks are legit. You got to practice them. You gotta be aware. And I don't, if somebody taps me with a neck crank, I go, hey, that was great. Choke, neck crank, doesn't matter. They're all equal. Leg locks, why would you, uh, the Danaher situation with talking about the lower body with Dean Lister, why would you like just not even, not even practice the lower body? Abandon half of it. No, let's work leg locks, let's work neck cranks, let's work chokes. I'm going off on a tangent, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later, take it easy. We gotta go. Teach me grappling, click the link down below at Patreon and PayPal. Contribute to this channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll be back for more. Let me, try, let me try. Let me do one. Maybe. Let him do one. Just see what's up. Let me see. I just need to figure. So, out. so I you were here. I want to go this part here. Right. They posture. You try, push like? my arm across. Pull my head down. Nothing. See how this strong guy. Yeah. So swim your arm, swim it through that hole. Oh, got it. Yes. Now, now I got it. Now don't let me posture and pull my head. This is my. Now I can't get away. Oh. Yeah, then switch the triangle. Okay, yes. Yeah. You're a Kimura man. Yeah, I like this one though. Sometimes guys will lock their hands and do that little pull and the push on your knuckles. When I lock my hands, you can... Yeah, you see that? Yeah, this is... This that's a right shoulder here. lock. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shoulder lock. Yeah. And then now you can go Kimura. And it's dead. This is, this is the one yeah. where the guy yeah. got his arm broken. That's where the guy got his arm broken in oh the Abu Dhabi oh, trials. What year was that? Uh, like two years ago or yeah. something. And then I can go to yeah. Alma. Oh. Yeah, and then today the guy rolled and I kept his arm just here and I just, he was trying to sit up like this and I just squeezed. As long as you isolate the shoulder, what does it matter that your legs are across? It matters that you have the elements. This is so tight, I can't sit up and it was done. Especially for a bigger yeah. body, bigger bicep. Yeah, and the guy, they can't swarm out. And the guy was, you know, like 195 yeah. black belt. Big guy. So it happens, so. All right, guys. Thank Take you, guys. Thank you.